Good morning, it's Saturday morning and today is the big day. I'm pretty sure that Eric has been excited about this forever, but most particularly, he's been very excited the last 24 hours. He was like, you're getting up in the morning, we're doing this right after you drink your coffee. No ifs, ands, or buts. So, I have finished my coffee and it's time to start putting the board game table together. How excited are you, dear? Let's go put the board game table together! <laughs> yeah! So here's the plan guys. So the board that we have is the floor of the game vault, which we need to further cut down. We didn't know the interior measurements of the, um, the base of the table. So we cut the board down as well as we knew from the dimensions of the table that were listed online. And then we had to measure the inside of the table and then measure the board and draw where we want to cut the board. So Eric is going to spend the next little bit working on cutting the board down so we can make sure that it fits. And then we'll have to cut the angles on the corner for where the braces are for the legs. Um, this is the most involved part of the putting the table together today, I'm pretty sure, um, which is all in Eric's wheelhouse. So I'm just gonna let him go at it and do it. And then once that's done, we'll put the, the game floor in we will put the legs on and then we're going to figure out what we're going to do about the top so the top is designed to slide on sliders um, but we want to be able to pick it up and take it off and not have it permanently attached um, which requires a few other pieces that we um we have in the other room that we're going to screw into the table top from underneath to hold it in place if the tabletop is on uh, I don't know if I did a good job explaining that, but now Eric's gonna get started on this little, this little adventure of cutting wood. I'm gonna cut a, some stuff. In an apartment in New York. How you feeling, babe? You're about to start cutting. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Be careful. Thanks. I gotta move these legs. Hurt. We need a workbench. We need a garage. Can we get a garage in the city? I think we should open the windows because it's really smoky in here. Yeah, because I almost started a fire 15 times. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't. Thanks. We do have a fire extinguisher though. We I could have put you out. Need a little vacuum. You really are the man. Oh, I feel like Dexter trying to get up. <laughs> Check those edges. They look great. They look okay. Let's just All right. See. So now we got to see if they fit. Ah. Oh. Now, here, here, here's the, uh, when it's all either gonna pay off or not. We should lay it in, like how we want it, I guess. I'm gonna put this on the floor. Oh, no. Don't trip and fall and die. Yeah. I'll work on that. Are you recording? Yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me turn this off. Okay, so it's a little I, small. No, I need you to, um, you mean? need to set it in a little bit more carefully, I think. I think it's not lined up on that side down there. Uh, Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it looks lined up here. Okay. We're a little, we're, pop, we're, we're popping an edge over on this side here. What do you mean? The, um, the wood's cracked. Oh. I wonder if it needs to be rotated or something. I don't want to press it down and break the wood. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how it's popping up right there? Okay. You want me to shape it a little bit? I'm wondering if we need to or if we just try turning it around and maybe the magic happens. I don't okay. know what that means. I think it's fine. I think it's just, it squints a little bit. It feels up. And you broke it. No, I didn't. Yay! I did not. It didn't break? No. No, it pushed into place. All right, then it's in. It doesn't look level. Looks like it's... Yeah, it looks like it's being wonky. Well... 
I think it's because it's popped up on that side for some reason. I don't know why. But it fits-ish. Should I pull it out? And no, no, no. Let's turn it over and see what it looks like on the other side because it looks pretty. Yeah, it's, it's bowed up. Do you see right here? It's flush over on this side, and it's bowed well, once up. once we nail it, it shouldn't be a problem, should it? Or should, we, should I try and cut it? I wonder if we just pop it back out and sand that side down a little right, bit. Right, that's what I was wondering. Okay, that's yeah. The... But it looks really good, babe. It looks really tight. I'm pretty sure that if it's a flat surface and it's on the inside of a table, that it's considered a game table, right? Like, we, we have technically a a dropped game table. Technically. Technically, yeah. And it's level. We tested it. The table now has legs and it has supports underneath. And it's almost lunchtime. So it's good that we're almost done. Um, we got to flip it, put the other bolts in for the legs, and we'll see what it looks like. I know. I'm starting. Holy crap, it's a game table. <laughs> Almost. How ridiculously smug are you feeling right now, dear? I've been wanting this for how long? A really long time. your fear of me using power tools? You survived. Of course. I knew what I was doing. have fabric on um, it is currently loose it is not glued down or anything um, my cutting was precise ish but not super precise <laughs> your cutting was questionable questionable, questionable cutting. it's like you were drinking no uh, no it's not that bad um, we may get another piece and do it again but I think for now this is gonna work pretty well we don't need a piece anytime soon anytime soon this is amazing I'm super happy. It's sturdy. I can climb on it. No, I'm not no, going to climb No, don't. God. Not... <laughs> God. Yeah. He does this to me where he says things like this, and I'm like, oh, my God, don't do that. All right. So the last bit is to figure out what the hell we're doing about the top. Right. But we can play games now. We don't we even can. have we to can. put the top on. So we still have the little touch-ups. We need to stain the tops. Mm -hmm. That's going to be stained. And we're looking to cover the, this. The metal part with something. With something. Not a big deal, but this is phenomenal. All right, so I think we're done. Um, the table is now put together. Now that over there is the top turns upside down so you guys can see that we put blocks on it in order to prevent it from really shifting once you have the tabletop on, if you want to have the tabletop on. You might not want to have the tabletop on, but as you can see, it's a real table, which is super exciting. Think of all the board games we can play now. I generally am just kind of glad that the project's over. I am excited that we got it. Ooh, God. I just broke it. Eric just broke the table. No, no, it's not. It's okay. I'm kidding. He shifted it. It's all right. I'm just trying to get some photos. It's not straight anymore. Okay. I wonder if you bent the, if you shifted the wood. Maybe we no. did need two nails. Okay, so it's a homemade. No, this doesn't turn. Okay, it is a homemade board game table, and it is now complete for the low, low price of three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. This table from. Like Geek Chic, for instance. Would be 10 times, or 100 times that. It, would, it was what? 
It was three, three grand. Three thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> ten Your times. Table. Ten times, not a hundred times. No, I well you did that math then. But <clears throat> we have a table. Woo! I'm super excited. All right, we got to clean up this room now. All right, I have to go do something else. No, you're cleaning up. I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. What a day, guys. Oh my god. Um, so the table is complete. Uh, we have yet to play anything on it because we were both so done when we were finished with it that we decided we were gonna wait till tomorrow to play, which means when Emily and Will come over tomorrow afternoon, that is gonna be our first time playing on our new board game table. That being said, we did take some like faux board game shots this afternoon just to put some pictures up online. Hope you guys saw them. Um, yeah, super excited that it turned out so well. Um, I mean, the apartment is now a little less showcase house and a little more nerd cave with the computer in the foyer area, like the this area and the board game room having a whole room. It's, it's very nerd central around here. Not that that's a bad thing. It just is not an aesthetic that I've ever tried before. Uh, other than my bedroom when I was about 13. So this is this is a sort of a throwback in some ways. Um, but that being said, I think it's gonna work out really well and we're both so excited to have the board game ta table. I mean, Eric way more than I am, but great, great project today. Obviously worth the wait, for sure. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy that it came together. All right, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow will we finally get to actually try out the table uh and and i don't see why it won't go well but hopefully it'll go well um and if there are any improvements we make along the way we'll be sure to clue you guys in all right see you guys then bye so this is what it looks like if uh game is set up on the game table. It looks pretty good.